Dr. Wong is clearly an amazing scientist, and I'm sure you're all as excited as I am to listen to his presentation today. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Chun Yu Wong back home to Michigan. So thank you. So on the deck, hear me? This one is on. So, anyone know this, what's this picture? <laughs> it's a wave of balloon. So actually, I find out is 100 years ago, because of such cold weather in Michigan, so wavering is kept to the west side, or to the Los Angeles, okay? <laughs> so they lost some hair now. <laughs> so anyway, this is very exciting, so back to home. Especially the two best of my knowledge. This is in the history of the UM School of Dentistry. We have the president, or vice president, to come our research today. So which, if I do this occasion, to be honest, even with this occasion, I probably, 30 years ago, I will work harder for my English. But too, <laughs> <laughs> too late, too late. So as a younger folks, you need to do a better job than me, okay? <laughs> also, on this occasion, I want to congress my the friends, Jack Ho, get elected to the National Academy of Engineering. With the 10 years ago, when we social occasion, when we talk the science, I told my friends, I know that uh, the Jack, uh, Jack do the wonderful sound science. Someday, he will be the in that building. Now, it's come true. Congress again, Jack. <coughs> well, let's get started. With this picture, can I see? so always hang on in my office, okay? With the, with the, but the background, uh, some, in the, someone in the audience should be recognized. This is in the, was in the president, the idea, idea, the house. This is the background, you guys get home. So this is really, I see the, all the familiar face all the, every day. So everyone know this guy? <laughs> so we, we had, actually, we, was, uh, we had a wonderful trip together with Michigan, go to the delegation, go to China together, so well, good time. So since back to the home, I was, the, was my talk was I try to make it straightforward, to the, especially for the communicator with the, the, in the young folks in the audience. I told her, how, how do I get in the research? How to the, what I'm thinking of the research? So I really get started when I was a dentist in China. This is many years ago, probably. Now it's almost, now look back, almost 30 years ago. So I really, so what I know in the Americans, they always think very ambitious, single, single big, then start small. So I did opposite. I said later, I started small, very small, as small as the epics. This, this is true. So, you know what? So in the audience, everyone look, probably know what it is. This is the paired epics, they have the boneless option. This is the paradontitis. They have the vertical bone resorption. So really, I get was the kind of interesting research. Is really started with this epics. So I believe dentistry this day, dealing with these two things, very important things. One is the infection. Second is the inflammation. So what do we do to what's the prevent or control infection? Then cure the inflammation or the resolving inflammation. So if inflammation or infection cannot be stopped, then we see the this kind of lesions with bone resorption. They eventually getting the have two slows. So to me, the I don't know what was the I think the American same thing too was in China when the often the speaker you behalf the dentistry, try to fight him with medicine. I always think the I was this morning I talked to a student too. I think more all the cavity of our mouth is the most important part for the human health. They ask me why. I say, think about it, look at single back. What uh, we eat, what we have, it, decide uh, no matter cardiovascular disease, diabetes, or obesity, what we you what you eat, decide what kind of health you have. It or what kind of disease you have. It. So they all believe me. No, I hope I was, uh, was uh, con convinced I was a uh, president. He's, uh, because he's MD, okay? <laughs> so uh, so, so when the, I did a little bit of 
research in China, then I, after finishing my dental school, I came to the United States, come to Forsyth, do the, the postdoc training. The study specifically study the mechanism of the bone resorption. Just how to, what's the factor causes the paleoepic resorption? It's very small, very tiny, it's the epic. So after a couple of years training, I feel my the basic training is not enough. So I started my, I say, oh, I want to go to go, go to the PhD program and get more training in the molecular genetics. So this is why I get started. Then I went to UNC, I get started. When I'm doing my PhD training, I'm very excited to make a really important dis discovery to regulate the apoptosis of the cancer cell. So this, this factor is, so, so this is kind of very interesting, it's a coincidence. This is not only a factor control inflammation, and uh, the infection also really play an important role in the tumor genesis. So what I find is this fact have une unexpected finding that time then have the can activated by the like a tumor necrosis factor or radiation or some carousel drug as a surviving factor to against cancer cell of immediate apoptosis. So it's very exciting. Also that time also make lots of good news too. <coughs> Well, what is AMF-CAR-B? So AMF-CAR-B is uh, in the, all the audience, I think the one person perfect on his face, our president, because many, many years ago, when he work, was a post fellow in the David Baldwin, he worked on this fact too. So in the unstimulated condition, so AMF-CAR-B is uh, staying inside of plasma. The classic AMF-CAR-B is a uh, heterodyma consists of the rare air P50s, the cytoplasm. When you have the kind of the stimulation, like a infection or the cytokine stimulation, or even stress, like, a, like a what I have now. So could it be active the kinase, IKK, then forcefully in the suppressor, IKB alpha. When the IKB alpha get forcefully degraded, then allow the NF-CoV-2 nucleus to active transcription. This is play lots of role that involves the macrophage activation, the control apoptosis, or the BCA, TCA development, et cetera, et cetera. So if we want to block AMF carb, you can multiple thing, multiple approaches such as like block the kinase activation, you can block AMF carb. So even I made a really exciting discovery. So one question always bothered me back to the, was my fourth size the research. So this is a picture, this is the first article, English art, uh, the first article read by, by my the man at fourth size. He like a review article show the inflammatory cytokines can work on osteoblast, then stimulate osteoclast have a bone resorption. This we have, why we have the paleopic uh, on the peroneal bone resorption. But in same time, some studies suggest flowing from the cytokine also can work on osteoblast, inhibit the osteoblast function, inhibit the form, form, form formation. So reason this is important is in the under the physiological condition, bone resorption and the bone formation is really well balanced. So when you have bone resorption, they will coupon with the bone form formation. So this have, we have the normal structure function of skeletal. So only what happens, so even you have increased bone, bone resorption in the inflammation, because if the bone formation is increased, the for bone formation will catch up with the bone resorption, they will lose bone, bone loss. So what do we see that at the actual beginning have paleopic bone loss or the peroneal bone loss? It's because we have increased the bone resorption, have compromised, compromised bone resorption. So that's why we have bone loss. So that uh, even the field have made a really great progress show the, show the, 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 the bone resorption. It's really poorly understood how infection, inflammation, affect the bone formation. So it's, 
this big puzzle in the field. Also, not a big puzzle in the dentistry. Basically, also is uh, really is is uh, for scalar disease, and uh, not only scalar disease, like the side effect of systemic disease, like cardiovascular disease, also uh, diabetes. Basically, all in some degree, in, in some stage, the one side effect is osteoporosis. So this is kind of the really important issue. What is always keep me the weak. So. So how to attack this question? So after finishing my PhD training, so luckily I had a job offer in uh, Michigan. So really come to this building, really make me think big to have some idea to attack this question. I make a really for the hypothesis, I don't know why this one didn't show up. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> hypothesis could be all the inflammation active in B. So in the field, it is clear how is B play an essential role in the bone resorption and osteoclastogenesis. So could it be inflammation cytokines actually active in B then inhibits bone resorption, bone formation? So I make that make the is really live hypothesis. So, so that finding could be impact the osteoporosis, not the tumor met metastasis, diabetes, or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So especially making me really want to focus this project is uh, I feel now I started with work so hard in the Michigan was uh, I started have the hatchback. Also, <laughs> probably something the osteoporosis happens. So I want to look into that question. Is what's motivated, okay? So in collaboration with uh, because Mich the dental school, one strength of the Michigan, we have strong bone biologist. Lola is here. Paul is here. Randy, I think Randy is here. So I had the wonderful support from the three of person of a wonderful collaboration with the, 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 the next, next few minutes of work is collaborate with the, this, this is three, three labs. So how do we tackle this question? Because the AFCOB control also class formation, my hypothesis is, is control bone for effect bone formation. If we block AFCOB systemically, we block bone resorption, we cannot test our hypothesis. So we take a advantage of a specific promoter. Is that a promoter is called oscasing, only activated osteoblast. So we made a transgenic mice, put the AFCAP inhibit in the oscasing promoter. So we, we made a transgenic mice. At the beginning, we kind of needed this point when the new bone mice, this white mice, this transgenic mice, basically structure-wise or the bone formation, there's no big difference. So doing science is was something I always ask my students if they say show me experiment. I say, oh, did you do the time course? Or did you do check the different doors? So this is exactly the case. When the new bone mice, they do difference on bone formation in the white mice and trans mice. So when we follow follow up mice at the age of two weeks, four weeks, eight weeks, or two, six months, very, intri very, very intriguing to find. With the new, with the glowing mice, the red glowing mice, we see they have more, by micro CT, we see the more bone volume in the transgenic mice, which is the AFCAB is suppressed. Let's compare with the white mice. So very, very intriguing, uh, after two months or six months, there's no difference. The bone formation, no difference. I still don't, I, this, is a big, this is a big muscle for us. Oh, it's the, I try to stay, try to put the student work on, nobody want to work on. Because they, they, they all say, your paper is published. So they I try to, still try to convince some, some student to work on. So anyway, because after three months, the, the bone volume difference, I thought, oh, maybe it's a way to give us, test our hypothesis. We start with the same background, same bone volume. Look with the 
we block NCOV affect the bone loss or bone formation. So to how to do it? That time we choose the, we want to we think, a, we think a little bit bigger, we want one more impact, not only dentistry, also the, uh, the, the more general human health. So we choose the uveactive model, which is uh, by uveactomy introduce the estrogen deficiency, their mouth will have bone loss. So this is a white of a mass, this is sham control. After uveactomy, we see the microcyte nevia they have really dramatic uh, bone loss. So compared with the transgenetic mice, half over time, you see, bone loss is significantly repressed. Also, we confirm uh, histology, OK? To further look at the effect on dentistry, we utilize the Kevillian model. So when you inject a BMP, bone morphogenic protein, can induce the bone formation. So, so this is the white mice. When we inject the BMP, we have the in new bone formation. So same time, we inject the nf copy act activator called TNF tumor next factor. The bone formation is suppressed. Let's compare this here with, with, with the BMP injection alone. However, in the transgenic mice, when we inject the BMP, or compare the BMP TN4 injection, the transgenic mice compared with the white mice, the inhibition bone formation is significantly reduced. So that uh, suggests really confirm our hypothesis. NFKB is not only play a role in the bone resorption by stimulating the osteogenesis. class genesis. This is other person published already. So our lower findings, I think, uh, is the first finding is that AMF coming the same, it's amazing, in the two different kinds of sphere play the opposite function. So in the AMF carb if we block by AMF carb in the osteoblast, actually we can get a bone formation. So next question we ask is because Oster class is differentiated from the stem cell, either have controversial, either called medicum, uh, medicum stem cell or medicum strom stem, strom cells. So <coughs> in this days, I'm more, more like called the medicum stem cell. If students are interested in reading the articles, we actually, we rather one or two years ago for the lecture medicine, talk about the, what's, what's the mesenchymal stem cells. So with the mesenchymal stem cells, when mesenchymal stem cells get the signaling, such as the winter signaling or BMP, can become pre-osteoblast, then express two master transcript factor, runs to OS6, then become the osteoblast. So we ask a question one step further. In, so if copy in in addition to inhibit the uh, osteoblast function, could it be inflammation or immune response? Active AMFKB then block mesenchymal stem cell, mesenchymal stem cell, differentiate to the pre-osteoblast or osteoblast. So uh, we are one step further. So how to test it? So when we start this project, uh, so as, uh, everyone talk about the Transnational medicine. So we need to follow the trends. Of course, the transgenic transgenic mice cannot cure human disease, right? Pediatrics cannot do it. So we think about how how we develop how to develop a small molecule approach to block uh, AMFKB activity, then get a more bone formation, or same time test our hypothesis. <coughs> This is, a, once again, this is a very simplified signaling pathway in FKB. We saw that because IKK is essential, is a kinase essential for NFKB activation. Also, since kinase can, is an enzyme, can easily target by small molecule inhibitors. So we screen, screen the, actually we screen a bunch of the 
commercial valid inhibitor, we find a, we able to find a one relative really is a specific inhibitor for blocking IK activation. IK activation. So, so test of our hypothesis is see when we treat the melanoma stem cell with TNF alpha in in time dependent way, you see, I kappa B alpha get a phosphorylated, then I kappa alpha degraded. Then also we see the P C T F alpha is phosphorylated. This is all indicate the I K K kinase is acted by TNF alpha. So when we same time treat with the I K K inhibitor with TNF alpha, you see, phosphorylation P C T F five. I can be our phosphorylation compared with this lens is suppressed. So all, uh, so we find we able to find the inhibitor can block AMF copy. So next question we ask: If we block AMF copy, what ha what happens of the osteogenetic deflation of the melanoma stem cell? So we close the MSC in the osteoinducing medium. You see, this control. Treat with the induced medium, the alkaline phosphate, alkaline phosphate activity is get induced, which is one earliest marker for osteoblast definition. So when we treat with TNF alpha, we see the alkaline phosphate activity is suppressed. So interest, interestingly, even with IKK inhibitor alone, we see the significantly enhance the alkaline phosphate activity. Which is suggest enhance the AMF copy deflation. Well, in the because in the, all the pro inflammation cytokine cascade active, acted by the infection, like the oral pathogen, is not only not only TNF alpha, have other the cytokines such as the interleukin seven, also is really the one critical player. In the auto inflammation and the peripheral bone resorption and the peroneal bone resorption. So, we also want to test whether interleukin 17 secreted, secreted by TH17 cells affect the melanoma stem cell deflation. So, we did the Western blot again. We see the similar like TNF alpha. Interleukin 17 also can induce IKK activity, where we treat the IKK inhibitor also block the IKP phosphorylation, block IKK activation. Well, how about the osteoblast deflation? So, we, we with, uh, with this is we look at the calcium accumulation is the latest stage marker for the osteoblast deflation. We see the interleukin 17 really strongly suppressed. MSC deflation. When we add the IKK inhibitor, the suppression is significantly abolished. So sometimes we also we need look at the couple of the genes associated with osteoblast deflation, such as the two master transcription factor, ranks two, VSX. You see, with inducer medium. Increased with uh, even I, once again with IKK inhibitor alone, because significantly in has increased the expression ranks to an OSX. With the interleukin 17, with the interleukin 17 suppress the ranks to an OSX repression. When we add back the IKK inhibitor, suppression is abolished. So, to the matrix bone matrix protein BSP and the OCN. Also did the same thing with block AMF copy can restore bone matrix, pro, bone matrix protein BSP and osteocalcin expression. Well, this is what you can argue say, oh, you, what you did uh, is uh, in which uh, tissue culture plates can you confirm your hypothesis in vivo? So we made a two different made a two different model. One is a Kevilla defect model. We use the scaffold put with the IK inhibitor with MSC or without the inhibitor. So this is a 
defect the transplant with uh, MSC alone. We intentionally put the minimum MSC, look what happens. So we see some bone formation, just a little, too much, not too much. When we put a scaffold with uh, MSC with IK inhibitor, you see, the new bone formation or gen regeneration was much, much significant as, as, as improved. So this is a histology. With the MSC alone, you see some new bone formation, but this defect bridge is not completely healed. With the MSC, MS, uh, with the MSC, with the, uh, the, the IK inhibitor is really very strong, have, uh, have, have the uh, bone formation. So how to translate was this part of my the study. So I give, for the students, I give a little bit of summarize. <coughs> So what uh, we find is uh, in the previous, in the literature, already find that NFCAR-B is essential for osteoclast formation and bone resorption. So what we find is uh, under inflammation condition or in the some systemic conditions such as estrogen deficiency, they, when NFCAR-B IK get elevated, they not only block, block the osteoblast function, also uh, inhibits Melancholy stem cell deflation to become osteoblast, then suppress the bone formation. So this is why in the clinic, we often see, we see the periapic disease, we see the periodontal disease. So summary, so AFKB by, by active uh, AFKB active by inflammation can inhibit MSC deflation. So one thing I think the important thing is to, to me as a was a, was a clinician, okay? I think uh, it's through our the, the clinical practice, it's really very important. If you want to get the best, best uh, therapeutic outcome, you need uh, the control inflammation, control infection. Then this way, you have better healing, or you have the better regeneration repair. <coughs> Now I sw switch the uh, case a little bit. So in, in addition to NFCAR-B, so I, my lab also work a very important single pathway is wind. So actually with uh, my, first, my, uh, my first paper published at Michigan is not only NFCAR-B, it's a wind, wind single pathway. What's, which one is, 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 uh, is uh, I knew, uh, learned from the other colleagues that I work on. So, when that time we work on the AFKB, at the same time, the field study realized really wind signaling is an important uh, pathway to control the bone development and uh, the homeostasis. So they have two, basically have two wind signaling pathways. One is called a canonical signaling pathway, mainly through the beta catenin control the plus function and the bone formation. They have, have, um, have a lot second, have a lot of pathways, non-canonical pathways. That's, that, that pathway is not really well characterized. So we are coll in, coll uh, in collaborate with uh, Pam Luby group at the NITCR. So luckily we, isolate, we are able to isolate the uh, stem cell from the periodontal ligament. That is sure some melanchama stem cell characters. Also when transplant to the in vivo, mice, they have, they can have bone form, bone or standing like the tissue formation. But uh, always compare with the melanchama stem cell from the bone marrow or from pup tissues. So or the genetic or autogenetic the potential is relatively weak. So we, because we work on the both, then the stem cell and the wind signal. So we want to say, well, can we look at the screening of wind ligand can enhance this bone formation? So with one, one single the, 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 the strategy for the regeneration. So 
we square uh, we actually we screening the uh, couple the winter ligand. It's luckily we be able to one identify one ligand called winter four. So can you, st you see with the periodontal stems here transfected with the winter four, then we induce them differentiation in the osteogenetic medium. We really compare with the conchusias. When the fall is dramatically in increased the alkaline phosphorylated activity. Well, this is a Vancouver study also su suggests the enhance the, M uh, the uh, MSC mineralization in vitro too. But this work is collaborated with uh, Dr. Weir globally group. So, well, it's kind of very exciting. So, problem work on work on wind signaling is very dangerous because it's in the field of lose that in the colorectal cancer. More than 90, 80, 90 percent patients either have wind mutation or considerably active the wind signaling pathways. So, so it's a really well known wind, colonic wind signaling target beta catenin, the active beta catenin TCF transcription, so have risk for regeneration, so probably risk because risk of tumor formation. So long coronary pathway is, is beta catenin independent, could be, could be safe. So with, with our next question, next question we ask, how went to active the single pathway? So interestingly, we find that the Treat a melangum stem cell or also as melangum stem cell with wind fall. The did a lot active, did a lot increase beta catenin. Instead, they active this pathway, GNK pathway, P38 pathway. We see that there was the, uh, the, the, the P38 get activated. Also, when we block a P38 single pathway, we also suppress the wind fall mediated enhancement of the oster class uh, oster class genetic deflation. So so which is a suggested independent. So next question was asked was well what happens in vivo? So we when we transfer transfer the tra uh, transplant the cells, control cells or the cells explain fall when the fall, we really see increase the bone either called bone or autontogenic genesis. Well, how about can we use this wonderful to enhance periodontal de degeneration? With the ways Nobel's help, we made uh, the periodontal defect. We see, we just want to see this micro CT. This is conjuicious. You see some new form formation when, when you put the uh, periodontal stems here. When the ways in, with the uh, stem cell with the windfall together, wow, it's a big chunk of the new bone formation. So, <coughs> so also we test in the a different model, the cavalier defect model. Same thing. You see the transplant with the uh, stem cell alone. You see, you see some new bone form, uh, new bone formation with the windfall together. You see, much of the bone formation was significantly the, 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 the enhanced. Well. So all data we did is a in vitro, in vivo, some cell line manipulation. So, science, so sometimes science uses, have, when you have certain experience, you, you have some spontaneously the curiosity. That's something that will make you very exciting too. So we made a single question. Because there are tumor things, I still worry about it. Somehow you, you try to regenerate more bone, actually the patients grow tumor. So we want to test a very rigid way. Say, how about we make a wonderful transgenic mice? What happens? Is mouse really go to tumor or no tumor? So, <coughs> so once again, we uh, we we did it anyway with the medical put the wonderful under the Oster Plus specific promoter uh, UCN. So try wonderful expression. This is a we. We screen the, the uh, bunch of little mates. We be able to find multiple uh, transgenic mice strains. So this this is a, this is a 
read on PCR confirmed. So when the fall spreads transgenic gene, when the fall express in the bone, not the brain, heart, or other tissues. Okay. But also, we have immunohistochemistry confirmed that when the fall is lined up of the osteoblast. So it's nice. So when we follow up the bone volume by histology and micro CT, you see, with the white of mice, in the white of mice, in the one month and the two months, you compare with the windfall transgenic mice, compare with the white of mice, differently, we can see the more bone volume, or compare with the white of mice. Also, the further we histology can feel more more triplet bone in the wonderful transgenic mice compared with the uh, white mice. Well, how about the, it's, this is very exciting, how about the disease condition? So we tested again using the oviectum as a model. You see, in the control mice, after oviectomy, most of the bone is almost gone. But the windfall mice, the significant amount of triple pump is maintained. It's really exciting. We basically, we identify, because this mice, we keep a mice almost over two years. No any tumor development. Also, it's very interesting. Mice is thinning, not, the, not the tumor, the, even the obesity, the, the, the fat tissues. The amount of fatigue is reduced too. So, so we, stay, we stay try to stay work on that. Then the last thing is what's exciting science is you need to always keep your mind is ready for some new stuff. So when I start and look at the, all the, uh, the, the, the histology, so my postdoc keep telling me something really is unexpected. So probably some of you probably have the same experience as me too. He noticed that the after oviectomy, white mice, the oster class activity, the oxygen number increased. It's not surprising. It's, 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 it happens. So he noticed that with the wonderful mice, you compare with the white mice, they actually oster class activity. All OST class activity is suppressed. So because it was initially our hypothesis, or one of the test is expressed wonderful in the OST blast, then have more bone formation. Then the 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 the, 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 the prevent the bone loss induced by ovectomy. So we find that. Oster class activity in, 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 inhibit. So further, we did an in vitro study. We confirmed when we trained with rank ligand that can induce the Oster class formation when put the windfall. The just just by trap staining, we see the Oster class number or multi giant nucleus number, uh, the cells is reduced. So so basically. What is unexpected, we, not, we find not a windfall, not a can prove the bone formation. In the same time, can inhibit the host class formation. So what's the mechanism? So I not get easier for the dental students sometimes, OK? So this is kind of complicated picture I want to show for the NF copy signaling. So, so with random signaling, they through the multiple complex, including TAC1, to activate NF copy. Then turn on nf dependent gene have os class formation. So we, in our mind, we want to look at just the second single pass. So look at it's because os nf involved os class formation. We, we first question ask is could it be when the fall affect the the nf single? So we realize that we find a when the fall actually the can block a tech one phosphorylation. Okay. So then further, it's known that downstream nf copy is nf nf 8 c one So 
NF can be induced the NFLC1 expression. This NF at can auto auto amplify the their promoter to activation. Is literature already sure is essential for host class formation. So, so, so by Western blot or by chip assay, we find the windfall also can block the NF car B directly bind into the NF set one promoter or the block the auto amplification. So the further also we to translate our study we test with uh, use recommend wonderful polluting. We also can this is micro CD. See after we ask me we react we react me, you have bone loss compared with shaman control, trade with the wonderful recommend polluting. We are all also able to maintain the tribatic bone. So furthermore ex exciting is to me to me in the dental school is when we induce the periodontal bone loss with P genovitis and uh, F nucleus, we see the dramatic bone loss in the white mice. In the wonderful mice, the bone loss also is really significantly prevalent, prevalent in the wonderful mice too. So in summary, what I think a couple I can convince the, the younger students that was the DDS students. So research is really interesting, stimulating. So sometimes you also need to prepare some unexpected, okay? So what my story is really small, uh, started with small epics. So, but as dentistry, as a profession, we also can able to make a contribution to general health science. So hopefully I can, I can the, 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 you, you believe what I said, okay? So the important thing is the, I like uh, even, I mean, some of you will go to private practice. I hope hopefully I can inspire you, some of you, to pursue, pursue academic career, academic dentistry as a career, especially your focus is a graduate from Michigan. To me, Michigan is the best dental school in this country in the world. Not Harvard, okay? <laughs> I would say the, I can say the front, okay? It's not Harvard, it's Michigan. So, so you guys really need to work harder. Make your dean lot proud of you guys. Make your president proud of you. So pursue activity. So uh, some of you lost the, 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 the good academic career. I hope I can convince you what we do in dentistry. What's most important we do in dentistry is uh, control inflammation, control infection. This is need uh, through all your uh, pre, uh, the clinical, cre uh, clinical practice to keep uh, these two things in mind. If you want a better therapy outcome, have better the results, this is to keep in mind. So this, the, this picture actually was this, 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 this Michigan, was, uh, was uh, the, 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 the many years ago. Huh? So the Jingu is here. The stem set did by Jia went and, and, and uh, some work did by the Zipong. So my the former student, Angel, he also, my, all my, luckily, my all support I get from the, I have continuous support from NIDCR. Like so, uh, so especially in this case, I will mention the one thing, one important thing is all, usually I always acknowledge my collaborator. Whatever you call my, the, my the, really, I want to look back on my career. I'm so lucky to get the support from all the things. Uh, Bill Collowoods, Peter Povlini, Korean Stoller, Mother Simon, they all they recall me to the Michigan. Okay, I really is all my big deal. And my former mentor, Phil Station at the Fort Size, the John Stem is my thing at the UNZ chapel here. So one time they always say, How do you get curious? Because I'm even back to China. You were Chinese, I said, only, Chen Yu, your English is so poor. You talk about the young folks, when I say, how do you can survive this United States? So what's, how do you can survive? I told them, you know what, I told them, treat it. So I think when they're really tricky, I told young folks, get along with your thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, you used to be young of your career. So all through all my career, this is, this is my secret, okay? All the my thing, I get along with them. I the, already, just uh, I have a wonderful time when Peter is already, he's my mentor. He said, all the, yeah, 
Dean Pilog, Bill Collar was just Mother Salmon, Chris Dollis, we stick, I stick a cup contact with them too. So this is really which some secrets I want to share with you, okay? Never fire with your Dean. If you fight, so normally Julia Faculty of Fire with Dean is normally the faculty, it's not Dean problem, this faculty is in trouble, okay? <laughs> so uh, one, thing, one thing I want to mention is this one, I have one minute. So in the, come, I can come to US, I, I know not so slangs, slogans, one, one stuff I want, I only, always want to make sense to me is go below or go home. It's a, <laughs> even where or you win or fail, you go home, right? So I still keep bothering me when I see this one. To me, I say go below, it's go home. It's my home. So last thing I say, not I say go below, it's okay, go below, go home. So I want to change it, go below, home. It's, then I say that because I, the, what I presentation is only talk about my the bone work. I have many collaborators in here, in audience. Ross Tishman, Peter, Jack Law, Nisha, or the many persons was uh, on cancer study. I didn't, talk, didn't have a chance to talk about it. I really appreciate every single of you in, in the audience really supported was my last eight years was Michigan. It's really my home. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much from the okay. University of Michigan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome home. Okay. And make okay. sure you unpack that okay. before you get on the okay. plane. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all. Really, really. Back to home. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, to come. Okay. <laughs>